situated at the maritime crossroads of the Eastern Mediterranean Basin. Cyprus evokes images of exquisite beaches, tranquil valleys, and warm and hospitable locals. But within this small circumference of space, one who takes a step further encounters far more. A bountiful array of culture, traditions, and without a doubt, art. Whose presence through the centuries documents the changes and influences of many of the island's civilizations. One art form that represents the rich heritage of the island is the mosaic. The ancient mosaic art technique, where patterns are formed with small, richly colored stones and glass, left a significant mark on Cyprus' artistic identity. Many contemporary Cypriot artists have studied abroad and have been influenced by varying art forms around the world. Yet they find a connection to the spiritual, mythological and religious elements evoked in the art within their island. They revive the ancient mosaic form predominant in Cyprus, reconnecting to the artistic roots of their country. Their tireless fusion of stones piece by piece, inspires us to go back to the beginning. Mosaics reached their zenith during the Byzantine epoch, specifically between the third and sixth centuries AD. As Christian civilization prevailed on the island, stunning architecture was erected. Adorning the walls and stretching kilometers along pavements, mosaics displayed the artistic, spiritual, and religious importance of Cyprus during that period. Found predominantly in Byzantine churches and monasteries, ancient city kingdoms, and now museums, where significant artwork of the past and present share the same space. However, in order to investigate the beginning of mosaic art in Cyprus, we have to go back as far as the 3rd century BC to the ancient city kingdom of Paphos, where the earliest known mosaic is housed. Now a designated World Heritage Site by UNESCO, Paphos is regarded as one of the most important mosaic producing centers of the Roman world. Mostly depicting Greek mythology, the houses of Dionysos, House of Theseus, House of Aeon, and House of Orpheus retain some of the most stunning mosaics of the Eastern Mediterranean. Discovered by chance in 1962 by a Cypriot farmer, the houses of Dionysos brought to light astounding 3rd to 5th century mosaics that occupy an area of about 2,000 square meters, of which 556 are covered with mosaics. The houses of the Onysos mosaic decorations concentrate highly on the Onysos, the mythological pleasure-loving god, and the cypress vine, a testament to Cypriot wine production which dates back as far as 200 BC and the lifestyle that revolved around its production is recounted through decorations of country life, of hunters and prey, people collecting fruit and flowers, and seasonal and emotional transitions are seen in the Four Seasons mosaic, depicting summer, winter, autumn, and spring. The mythological wine stories continue through the mosaic of the Shepherd of Ilium, who's depicted in the mosaic the Rape of Ganymede, where Zeus, 
in the form of an eagle, carries away young Ganymede to Olympus to make him the new cupbearer of the gods. The villa of Theseus is built upon the ruins of earlier houses of the Hellenistic and Roman periods. Of the 9,600 meters of space that the building occupies, more than 1,400 meters of this area is decorated with mosaic floors. Thought to be the residence of the Roman governor of the island, the mosaic of Theseus and the Minotaur is known as one of the finest mosaics found in Cyprus. A signature of wealth and status, the mosaic became such a popular art form during the early Byzantine years that artisans were commissioned by the Roman elite to decorate their homes' walls, floors, and public buildings. George Gerbolas brought the old tradition of Byzantine art and hagiography, which literally means the writing of saints, into the 21st century. Commissioned to prepare the monumental mosaic work at the Kikos Monastery, it took George Gerbolas four years to finish the 25 compositions portraying parables from the Bible. Gerbolas' interest in mosaics began early in his studies. Finishing college in Cyprus, he went to the United States, where he studied at the National Academy of Fine Arts. His passion for mosaics then took him to Greece, where he specialized in Byzantine hagiography and mosaics. Gerbolas uses his art form for communicating with people. By taking from the earth and reassembling the stones into patterns and images, the mosaic connects people with the artwork and the natural world. Whether it's a 21st century design or one dating back to the 4th century. Regarded as some of the finest examples of the so-called beautiful style, the mosaics within the House of Aeon are characteristic of the Constantinian Renaissance of the first half of the fourth century. The pictures, set in three rows, depict rich compositions of mythological subjects which contain both deep philosophical and religious importance. The Christian religion was fully established in Cyprus by this period. Christian themes and symbolism became the predominant theme in mosaic art. In the ancient city of Curion, Christianity was established as the mosaic inscription details. This house, in place of its ancient armament of walls and iron and bronze and steel, has now girt itself with much venerated symbols of Christ. Extending for three and a half kilometers along the road west of Limassol, the ancient city of Curion retains an array of well-preserved mosaics. And despite the severe earthquakes which leveled Curion during the fourth century, the House of the Gladiators retains what are said to be the first and probably only mosaic composition showing gladiatorial games found in the Eastern Mediterranean. And within the house of Efstolios are mosaic pavements with an array of inscriptions coupled with Christian symbolism. Christian symbolism has carried on through the centuries and we find one of Cyprus' most creative artists recreating the imagery. Born in the small village of Mazotos, Kostas Argirul was discovered at the age of 50 for his talent in sculpture. He then moved on to mosaic art, where he defied his critics who claimed that mosaics are only created by university graduates. Argirul takes from the earth and transforms his finding into art.
His mosaic art is representative of his surroundings and the influences around him. Religious symbolism in mosaics is ever present in other ancient city kingdoms in Cyprus. Situated in the northwest of the island is Morfu, where we find the ancient city kingdom of Soli. Within the basilica remains a stunning mosaic floor. Originally of geometric design, artisans added circular mosaics, abstract decoration, as well as various animal designs. The Greek inscription in mosaic set in apse in its partly legible form reads, Christ save those who gave this mosaic. The prosperity and importance of Cyprus during the 6th and 7th century and its close link with Constantinople is evident through the iconographic mosaics found in Cyprus. Although very little Byzantine art remains from before the Arab raids during 649 and 965 AD, one outstanding survival is the mosaic within the church of Panaya Angelochtisti. Located seven kilometers southwest of Larnaca is the village of Kitty. Within the small Byzantine church, we find various religious mosaics dating back to the sixth century. The most prominent of these creations is what is considered one of the finest pieces of Byzantine art, the rare mosaic of the Virgin Mary and Child between the archangels Gabriel and Michael. Another mural mosaic whose importance is on a par with the Angelochtisti mosaic is the Kanakarya mosaic, although it does not reside in its home of origin, Lithrangomi. It is one of the unfortunate stories of pillaging and profiteering. The sixth century mosaic depicting saints Thaddeus and Thomas decorated the ceiling of the Panaya Kanagarya church in Lithrangomi up until the late 1970s, when looters hacked the mosaic and shipped the pieces overseas to be sold in an underground art scandal. Although the Kanagarya mosaic has been returned to its home in Cyprus, it is estimated that several dozen major mosaics are still missing. The Kanakarya mosaic now finds its home in the Byzantine Museum in Nicosia, and it's regarded as one of the rarest and oldest surviving examples of Byzantine art. Mosaic art in Cyprus diminished in popularity from the 7th century onwards, and was replaced with the art of wall painting. Fortunately, the country that houses so many spectacular ancient mosaics is also home to exceptional mosaic artists who promote the magnificent art today. George Cotzonis, like Kepolas and Argiru, keeps the Byzantine tradition alive. Cotzonis studied in various branches of fine arts in London, China and Czechoslovakia. He absorbed influences from all countries, including his homeland, Cyprus. Cotzoni's mosaics are generally of the female nude, which is combined with elements from his post-impressionist origins and ancient Greek, Byzantine and folk culture. A more abstract concept of his themes fluctuates between realism and symbolism, history and myth. Cotzoni's takes the ancient mosaic art and transforms it into a 21st century creation. Cyprus history is like the hundreds of fragments of stone and glass that come together to make the mosaic. 
The rugged stones collected from the earth are made to fit together like a puzzle, retelling over and over again stories of mythical love, tragedy, nature, religion, beauty, and giving us an insight into one of the pieces of art that shapes the island of Cyprus. Cyprus.